All right, so, uh, you know, just when you think you have the NFL figured out, uh, it just continues to get more and more crazy, upsets after upsets. I believe the, uh, you know, the shocked Pikachu shirt is certainly apt uh, for this one because this was a surprise. I mean, many people thought the Rams could run away with this one. You know, Kyle from the podcast locked up the Rams. They end up not only losing but getting crushed. So, uh, you know, huge win for the 49ers who are very much still in playoff contention, as crazy as that may sound. Uh, you know, the NFC, they, that seven spot is so up in the air. There's like a dozen teams that could potentially get it. So 49ers, you know, all you got to do is keep winning. You keep winning, good things are going to happen. So big win for them. Uh, I am going to shift gears a little bit, though. The main thing I want to talk about is, to me, the most interesting story story that happened here, which is what went wrong with the Rams offense. I mean, it was just, you know, Peyton Manning kind of said it best, which is, you know, they're just off. It's just one of those things. They were just off a lot of weird plays. So let's get into the film study and talk about, you know, what the 49ers did well, but also what the Rams did poorly. So let's start things off with this one. This kind of really set the tone early on. This was that weird uh, interception to Odell Beckham Jr., where what's going to happen is it's a cover three zone, and the concept can work against cover three. Uh, basically, Odell's route is he just running a go route, trying to push the corner and the safety further deep. You then have Cooper Cup kind of run underneath, and he's the guy who he's the guy who you want to throw to on this play. It's a setup route to get the ball to Cooper Cup, which makes sense. So uh, you're going to see Stafford take the snap. He fakes the handoff, and at this point, what's going to happen is that it's a little bit slow. That's just you know way to broadcast showed it on the side angle at this point when you know Stafford had a little bit of time to move outside the pocket a little you can kind of see why he wants to make this throw uh, part of me just wonders if for some reason he didn't see the safety but if he didn't like why would you not see the safety wouldn't you assume the safety is there I don't know because this it's one of those weird decisions that we're probably not going to know ever maybe we'll get some information in the post game press conference but just a bizarre decision to make this throw because there's a safety there if there's no safety i get the logic but there's a safety on top of this odell kind of just gave up on the play but i kind of understand why he did you still would like him to not but still uh again very bizarre play that uh you know did not quite work out the way that the rams had intended there now, I thought there was some Stafford bad in this one, for sure. Like, what's happening here is that it's going to be a cover two zone play, and you have, uh, you know, a receiver's going to run a deep route, another one kind of, it's very similar to the last play, actually, just against a different type of coverage. It's against cover two, but same same idea. First receiver, or in this case, your number two receiver, the guy in the slot, he's going to run a deep route. You then have another receiver who's going to try to get open. And look at how right when this play starts. So a couple things we're going to notice. For one thing, so uh, number 18, this is Bennett uh, Skowernick, who uh, is not someone who I had ever heard of before this game. Uh, I believe this is the, his first time ever getting playing time. So that's why. Actually, I take that back. He has uh, 38 snaps to his name. So there you go. Uh, he is going to have one of the all-time mistimed inter uh, mistimed jumps on this play you see him I mean he's already coming down from his jump and the ball is nowhere close I mean one of the all-time just how do you mess up a, a jump that badly so this might be a bit of a, a communication thing or you know not used to playing with each other that kind of stuff uh, but still it does seem like the ball was a bit high look it does you know get tipped up but, but my question is you know if that's a better route is this really going to end up that way? I don't know. So maybe, I don't know if, how much blame I put on Stafford, how much blame I put on the receiver there. There was also this one where, listen, there was some flukiness in the Rams game here. There certainly was. On this play, it's going to be a screen pass. But what's interesting and kind of, you know, you can sort of create your own flukiness to some degree if you're the 49ers where what's going to happen is you see the coverage, there's two safeties deep. And this is something we've seen teams just start to do is play these two safety deep coverages a lot and it's really made a lot of teams struggle uh you, you know that happened with tom brady in back-to-back -back games now where he struggled that's happened with mahomes all season long really as he hasn't looked the same 
when there's two safety deep coverages. Teams are kind of realizing, hey, in the pass happy league, try to take away the passing game. It makes sense. And so because of that, what you have to do if you're the Rams is try to get these underneath stuff, try to go for a little bit less. Even on a third down and 11, they're going for a screen pass right here instead of pushing the ball forward. Look at how right when this play begins. So you see at this point, it's very funny because A, okay, this should have been caught and this should have been a catch. Would it have been a first down? Almost certainly no, unless it's like some, you know, great run after the catch thing. But it also sure, certainly shouldn't be a pick six. However, what's worth mentioning is this is man coverage right here. So safety Jimmy Ward is currently, you know, when he's looking over, he can actually kind of see what's going on because he's rushing over covering his man who is not the player in yellow. It's a different guy that's covering him, but he's just moving over because there's a blocker. So he reads this well and he has his head up, which listen, there's going to be some flukiness and some luck involved, but you do make your own luck. As you see, the ball gets tipped up and goes right into his hands and he's going to end up getting a pick six out of this. So again, lucky? Sure. Yeah, he absolutely got lucky. There's no denying that. But also, I mean, you take advantage of the breaks. That's football in a lot of ways is just taking advantage of breaks. Let's go over to this one now because listen, the playing cover two and forcing the Rams to kind of methodically move down the field, what that does is it allows you to get away with some breaks like on a couple of third downs. Here's the first one. It's actually man coverage this time in a cover one play, but they would change it up on third downs. It's really first and second is when you would see a lot of that cover two and you're going to have a you know Cooper Cup who's going to run you know, about basically just get past the, uh, you know, get past the six and hopefully you get open. Stafford takes a snap. He's going to get it to Cup, who is wide open, and Cup just drops the ball. You know, he was against safety Jimmy Ward. It was a great matchup for him. Uh, you know, they were trying to disguise the blitz, and it just, it's a drop, and that's an unfortunate break. You then have something like this, where what's going to happen here is this is another very similar play. You set yourself up nicely for a third down situation. Now you're playing quarters. I mean, this is what the Rams do. Uh, so now you're doing this, which does mean the underneath stuff can get open. Like that's the, the flip side. However, again, you're going to see Stafford's going to make a good throw on this one, but it's going to get dropped. And that's another example of, okay, well, that would have been a first down, but the Rams, uh, you know, they didn't execute properly and it was set up on the flip side by the 49ers setting themselves up nicely on downs one and two. That's kind of how this game really went. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, just a, you know, a very interesting game, I think, you know, more interesting in the outcome and sort of how it worked than the actual game itself. The game itself was kind of lackluster, but uh, I think it's fun when you have these kind of upsets uh, and listen, for the Rams, I would probably say I'd lean close to they're fine. I think they're okay. But one interesting thing we've seen is I think it might actually be correlated now that I think about it with more and more teams playing this cover two, you know, style coverage a lot more against the good passing attacks. We're seeing a lot more variance and a lot more upsets this year than we've seen in seasons past. We're also seeing, you know, total points is down, points per drive is down. So uh, it's very fascinating to talk about what exactly is happening. And uh, yeah, I think the Rams are fine. I think the 49ers are maybe better than we had given them credit for. I know they got crushed by Arizona, but sometimes these games happen, just like sometimes these games happen for the Rams, who have now had three of them. Uh, so, you know, I still think they're fine, but they do got to figure it out uh, and rel relatively quickly. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.